What's going on, guys? Coach Madden, you go probaseball.com. Here with my man, Hector Berrios. He was my pitching coach when I was in the uh, play, uh, pitcher in the Mets organization. <laughs> and he was my coach, taught me a ton of stuff. And I've got him here so he can maybe give you guys some golden nuggets today. He's got a, a bunch of great information. In this video, we're going to talk about two pitching drills that he uses sometimes with his guys. He's got a lot of pro clients that he helps with. Obviously, as a professional pitching coach, uh, you're going to want to stay tuned and watch this one. Before we get into it, I want to talk about this pro command target that Hector created. He invented this thing, and it's a great tool, especially in the day of technology and velocity, where that's a lot of what we talk about. And command goes overlooked sometimes. So this is a life-size catcher. It's a pad you can throw into. He's got guys throwing over 100 miles an hour into this pad. Uh, and it'll stand the test of time. So something really cool that you could check out. Hector's been kind enough to let me sell it on my website, yougoprobaseball.com. You can check it out there. Hector also has a book coming out, Unleash the Pitcher in you. in you. Check it out. It's on Amazon. Great, great stuff. All the information that he's learned over, how many years you've been in this game? Over 30 years as a pitcher as, as well as a coach. Coaching for 23 years, and it's been fun coaching some of the, the games. Pretty good players coming up. Sisto Sanchez is well, the last one. Jose De Leon, uh, we have Stripling, Pedro Baez, Jimmy Garcia, just to name a few of the Dodgers and the, and the, the Mets and now Familia in the offseason. Uh, Ronald Bolaños with the Padres, now he's with Kansas City. Uh, uh, Vladimir Gutierrez with Cincinnati. So it's just quite a bit of guys who have gotten uh, good bonuses uh, doing this system. And it's not to say that this is the perfect system. This is just the one we use. And if it works for you, then uh, so be it. If, if you like something else, then that works for you as well. I, I'm all for you developing and getting the most out of your uh, what, what God has given you as far as talent is concerned. And Hector was a great pitching coach. Learned so much from him when I was playing with him, uh, playing under him. And in fact, today I've learned so many new things <laughs> already. So great information. Again, in this video, we're talking about two pitching drills that he uses. So let's go over it. Let's go over it. Tell me about him. Uh, the, the, the one that we mentioned earlier, but let's just go do the, the normal towel drill. Okay. The normal towel drill is it's a lot of times that when we're doing this and you see a guy with his glove out, the pitcher has a tendency to go out with his torso and get out there. And I call that chasing the front side. Trying to reach yeah, for it. Yeah. yeah. So you chase the front side. So you're here, you're chasing the front side. So this back hip is no longer the driving force. It's just the following force. So what we're trying to do is basically, if we're going up this, this uh, incline here, it's almost like you're going this way, gives yourself time to stay mounted, the, the hip and shoulder separation part of it, you still torque, and now you can maximize this, but let the legs and the hip and the knee be the reason why this whole thing is coming forward. And then at the end of the day, I want you to use that back. Uh, I want you to look athletic. I don't want you to be here falling all over the place. I want you to start and finish athletic. And so, that, that's a great th one drill that I actually do is called up the mound uh, throws. Yes. where you could do it dry. Yes, you could actually implement the, yes. this into this it is, as well. This is a big part of the of the drills. Is going the, the complete opposite. So this may actually be three pitching <laughs> drills for you guys. Um, but again, going up the mound, I really like that to feel the backside and the front side how you're bracing up. Yeah. Adding a towel drill into it yeah. is just a added uh, benefit of it, right? Yeah. So the big thing is come land. Let's okay. just say you land it. Land you roll, stop. you roll, like we talked right. about the roll, and then you land and making sure that I, if, if a pitcher gets here, I like to say this is like the river. There's an analogy. You got a, a board here, right, a two by four and a two by four. If you're in the middle, you're basically, if that foot goes a little too much, you're going to plop down because you're no longer on the leverage side. So it's almost like staying on this two by four as long as you can. And now take that weight that you have on the two by four and easy. Just rotate the knee, the hip, and come out and extend towards this glove. Uh-huh, and then go through me, uh-huh, where you get all of this. And the back brings the glute, the foot over versus what pitchers naturally do. They go here, they, they start getting upright, and the foot comes real low. I, I want to follow through. I want to finish. I want all of this to take the brunt of the throw and take the pressure away from the So when you're doing this with your guys, are you having them stop in the stride, feel that position, and then go? Yes, and then go through and then without go pull stopping. Through? Yeah. Okay, so let me go so one the, more time The key here. is to stay, uh-huh. I want you to really feel like this hip is a little bit more. Look, look forward, like if you're looking at the catcher, and you're still on this back side. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you take all of that leverage and let this be the driving force to go through my glove with your lower half. All right? Uh huh. Yes. And now you got a good clean follow through. Okay. Versus I felt that. versus having that stop. I want give me the give me the towel. Put the glove there, just right here. I want to drive this here. I want this muscle to really help my 
hand drive. I don't want to be going, trying to do it with just my hand. I want that muscle to help me drive through the glove. And get that extension. Yes. Okay. And then from there, you once they got it down, they would come up and go uh -huh. all the way so, through. So I'm here, let's just say here, and I want to roll, so I mount. Okay. So I mount the lower half, which is the heel. The heel takes the hip forward, and I get all that weight driving towards that glove. Been a few years, heck. Let's see. <laughs> roll, uh-huh, and then boom. Uh-huh, look at that beautiful follow-through. Okay. It's like you're hitting me with everything you got, and then some. You just don't come to a screeching halt and stop. Let me pick your brain about this one. Go ahead. When I do the towel drill, sometimes I'll have the target at the extension point, like right as we're getting to pronation. So instead of hitting the glove way down out in front uh -huh. here, I'm trying to hit it up here, out this way. So I'll actually be out here holding the glove up mm -hmm. and trying to get them to hit it when they get to that extension and then get that good follow through. What do you think about that? So I like it. I like it because that's where you want to start, right? But I want you to finish with your back through the glove, which we're going to have two places. You're going to start your release here, and I want your back to go through here. So I'm feeling, so here, I'm feeling the extension and you here, got, but uh, then you got to drive through it. Uh -huh. And then that will bring your glute, and everything else will follow suit in a nice, rhythmic sequence uh, finish. The reason why I didn't like the regular towel drill at first was because it was easy for me to yes. come forward, and I felt like I was just dragging and trying to reach too much. So understanding that if you're trying to not do that and do it the right way, and obviously if you've got eyes on you, mm -hmm. a good coach who's instructing you along the way, then it can be a very beneficial drill. So yeah. as you're coming down, one more time, one okay. more time, you're here. The main goal is that this head stays a little bit behind that belly button, this shoulder helps you stay on that backside, and now I've maxed out how much I can rip that leg through. Going through it all the way? Yes. And I'm going to get a little further because you're going to come out. Boom. And I would love to see that video. I'm pretty sure you're going to start getting a longer drag. Yeah, you're felt... staying back and you're going to get closer to the hitter without realizing. Yeah, I felt it. I've definitely felt yeah. my stride being longer there. So that's if, like, that's another drill that I do get there. Uh, we'll, we'll transition it to this. Okay. So I want you to reach me with your back heel. I don't want you to reach me with your front shoulder. I want you to drive your back heel and try to reach me as far as you can. Your back heel, roll. And still go with the towel. Load and roll, yeah. Load and roll. Roll, and then you hit me with that backside. So I was even I got further. Two, I got 245 pounds, right? Is that what you are now? Thank you, first of all, oh. but no. All what right, about, so about I got 265 maybe. Well, 265 is going to feel like 270, 285 coming at you because you really maximize. It's like a boxer. He's just loading up, and you're loading up by staying in that position, allowing what? The lower half to be the driving force. Yeah, and I was definitely, that was my furthest stride there, but I didn't feel like I was jumping. And I asked you to do it through what? Through your heel. heel. Yeah. So again, you get there. This is very important for me. This is, this is huge for me. I go up here, and then tr don't, don't move anywhere. Just kind of stay there. Just finish this position. Finish. Now roll from there, and I'll take that heel and drive the heel as much as you want, and hold this back as mm. much as you can. This can connect you to this side. Get that ass to the, excuse me, get the hip. <laughs> All right, so now, now, get into the position that we talked about, like, like you're walking, right? Just drop that glove for a second. I mean, the, 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 the take it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> hold it, hold it there, just down, uh-huh. And now you take it, the leg is gonna whip the towel to me. It's gonna get the, act, the arm action. Go, go, go. You don't have to worry about it. And you know, I was short, right? I was a little too close. But that controls this. It's going to be in a neutral position once we slow it up in video. Your arm is going to be here to start getting into external rotation. But while we do the drills, I want you to feel like it goes from here because you have the time. When you have the ball in your hand, everything's happening real fast. You're going to be driving down the slope, so the arm has got time to get into that neutral position. I love it. I love it. Now, what is this second drill? That we're, well, actually, I guess we should go. We should probably say third or fourth drill <laughs> because we did the towel drill, towel drill up top. Uh, the uh, up the mound throws, that's three. So what's the fourth pitching drill? Well, I mean, this is like with the roll. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. A lot of pitchers that we start to find, we take videos of, they go here and then this leg goes here and it goes out that way. Up, down, and, and out. Yes, and what we would like is for you to, when you, when you roll, just roll the, this hip, roll it, and now you're in this position, right? When you're in this position, this leg extension, you start to see pitchers extend both pieces. This, Mariano Rivera, would be extended, extended. So you get here, up, and then as you roll and extend, boom, these two hand, these two pieces will extend. Let me just show you here. You'll start to see th like that position where you 
I, I've seen your videos and you stay in that 45 degree position, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same, basically the same thing, but you're doing it at the top here on separation. When your hips go, boom, yes. And then you maximize that lower half to rip through. So, so the way I like to think about that part too is almost like the leg is a counterbalance. Yes. Because if, if, if I'm trying to create that energy going down and my chest is too far forward, uh -huh. I'm gonna beat my alignment, it's gonna be off. But if I can get, let this leg get out and get that, that roll that you're talking about, then I almost have a counterbalance to go start going yeah. down the mound in, like, a, in a better like, direction. It's like you take the weight off of one and let, let it max out on the other yes. side, which is what the mount is called. So give me that right here, right? You're gonna go up. It's almost like there's a straight line here with your heel and then there's a straight line all the way and the foot's gonna open up naturally, naturally at the end. Right. So it's how long can I keep it here, but roll first and drive that back hip and then it's gonna go, all go. So it's gonna be like, like almost like they say you're falling, but you're not falling, you're driving. Right, right. And that's and bringing, bringing the uh, hips into it. If you can stay close, close, or at least, at least this is the way I think about it. If you can stay close, 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 long, like you said, as long as you can, when you do open up, your hips are gonna open up faster, which you're gonna have more separation and then your shoulder and everything is gonna come through with more speed as well. It's just speeding up the kinetic chain as you go. Like mm -hmm. if you stay the same speed from the beginning of your delivery to the end, your arm's gonna go so slow. No. You get faster and faster as you go, almost like a train, how a train starts. A train doesn't, doesn't go real fast and spin its wheels like a race car would. Mm -hmm. You know, it starts slow and then builds up over time. Now the, the time length of that equation on the mound is gonna be a lot shorter. So you're gonna be at full speed at release, but a lot slower when you start. But mm -hmm. that's just the way I think about it. So, so in that drill, what are yeah. you doing? You're actually just holding the pitcher? And, and you, it's the, what we call the roll. The roll gives you the ability to mount. Remember the big key for me, I don't want our pitchers to be chasing the front side. I want the pitcher to drive with the back side. So that gives me an opportunity to get to peak leg lift. When I roll, this activates itself. Go, go, and, you, and just let that go down the slope. So you're going down the slope with the right side, which is the back side. I, I really liked when you were grabbing the leg here and the hands at the same time. That to me gave me like a really good feel yeah. of how it should so, should be when I'm So pitching. I'm here and you roll, uh-huh, and take me with you. Take, take the arm with you. And you could just feel it right away, yeah. how the energy is into the ground, what you're trying to do, your direction, like on that one, mm -hmm. I felt like I was a little bit off. I should yeah. have been more yes. this way. But it was a good feel. Like the, when you did it, I was able to feel it. If you really focus, John, on just keeping everything on driving with your heel and your hip, tell me what happens. You're here. You roll, roll, uh huh, and then get that lower half going. Get it, get that hip going. When I say going, is this? Grab my hand. Right, and I go. Look, feel. See, I could take you with me. So uh -huh. I'm here. Do it again. I'm here. I could take you with me, and then I'm gonna get into. The, okay. That makes sense. Yes. Let me try it again. So I take the two parts that extend, uh-huh, and it keep you, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. that's it. And I then you didn't go, you stayed back as you were going forward. Uh -huh. you didn't, your torso wasn't in front. Got you. I love it. It's almost like um, the wall drill. I use a wall drill just to feel kind of that same thing into the, into the leg. But I kind of like this one better because it's like the opposite. You have the, the resistance here and you can kind of feel yourself going away from it versus being up against a wall and, and pushing. It's just a different feel. Yeah, it's, it's a different feel. The, the, it, it starts and it keeps going. So let's just, All right. when I say flexible. 22 hip, pitching drills. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're here, go ahead. And now just try to be flexible with your hip. Try to go to, to, to the cart as much as you can with just only your hip. Uh -huh, like that. You feel, like, you feel like this, there's going to be, yeah, get back, get back. You're going to feel this go like this. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel it go like that. So okay, flexible with you. your I hip you. that way. I got what you're saying. So just go, uh -huh. yes, uh-huh. Try not to bend the knee on this one. Okay, so same the thing knee. No with flexing the, hip? the okay, knee, just, just flexible hip. The knee will bend after. Okay. The knee will get going into the flexible position right after. Let the hip start the action. Okay. Go ahead, your hip, yes. And now your knee is in the athletic position to now gotcha. start driving down into the ground and now start that rotation. Gotcha, gotcha. So I good. love it, I love it. So I don't know how many pitching drills that was. <laughs> Maybe five, we'll call it five. five pitching drills to leverage your pitching mechanics, get the most out of your velocity and your control. <laughs> if you implement using the Pro Command Target, even better because now you have a life-size visual to yeah. uh, do that. Don't forget to check out Hector's book on Amazon, Unleash the Pitcher Within You. Um, and also you can get the pad on my website. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. We've got some more great pitching information coming. Check out Hector on all the social platforms, HLB Pitching. Um, Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.